Project Hyper Pi making a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus base image for us. Same way, same beautiful Hyper Pi, and this time it actually runs better. You have a look for yourself. I mean, this Raspberry Pi, an extra 0.2 gigahertz, really goes a long way in a track mode. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. I just want to show you. So we're on the main menu right now. Um, and then you can change this menu really easy. Just hit the toggle button and over. And uh, we can actually get rid of that. And then now we're on a little bit different of a menu. And then we should be able to change again. Okay. Now we're on the icon menu. Where you can see different icons. Pretty cool. Again, it's on. you're on the main menu. You're just changing the toggling, which is changing the way it looks, which is changing the way the menu looks. This is one of the coolest things I think about HyperPie. So now we got a vertical menu. Pretty cool, right? You got all displays, arcade, all this stuff. So, you know, for example, your collections, there's your collections. Go to arcade, there's your arcade. Let's do another swap here to a different view. All right, so it's similar view, except now it's horizontal. Horizontal. Um, scrolling, pretty cool. Okay, let's change it one more time. Okay, now we have cover flow. And uh, in this one, we should be able to move. Okay, Cody, hacks, things like that. Goes to full screen. Kind of reminds me of the cover flow on the on the uh, iPod, pretty cool. And then we're back on the main menu. Now let's go ahead, I already loaded this up with ROM, so let's go to consoles. I have uh, Neo Geo and Super Nintendo all set up, so let's do Super Nintendo. All right, there we go, Super Nintendo. And here we are in the stock menu, right? You got video snaps, you got a box art on the left, really beautiful, right? Quick loading, awesome theme, really like it. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is you know, doing this really good justice. So let's go ahead and change our theme here, our toggle. And then here we go. We have the uh, the uh, box view grid. Pretty cool. And you can, I can go to the next screen over and, and switch between games. And I can tell you right now, this is much better. I'm missing artwork here on for Zool. I got the video snap, but no artwork. Okay. Um, as you see, though, really pretty darn cool. Um, this is definitely more palatable. Okay, so here's our vertical wheel, which we saw before, but now we're in a game room. So rather than the main menu, we have the games. You can see the box art and the, and the cart art change on the left side. Um, you can even get this metadata to go away as well on the bottom if you want. Let's go ahead and change the theme one more time, or toggle. Okay, and now we're in cover flow. So here, we can just go through the different covers. Pretty cool, right? It goes from a cover, to the actual game. Cover to the game. Let's do one more here. And here we are, we have the horizontal wheel. So games on the bottom. And the, t the video snaps change, metadata changes. Pretty darn cool. Let's, let's go to a different letter. We've been playing with A and Z a lot. All right, we're still in A. <laughs> so at least get down to B. All right, so Barbie supermodel, nice. Let's change the theme one more time, or toggle. I keep saying theme, change, we're toggling through the different menu items here. So this is cover flow carts, so we can cover flow between the carts. This is if I hard scroll, let's hard scroll it, see how it works. Running pretty good, guys. Again, the stock clock Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. If you overclock, even better performance here. Let me go ahead and change this again. Vertical wheel, pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking the vertical wheel. We can hard scroll here, change the games, bulls and blazers, video snap, and menu just kind of fades. All right, let's try this one more time. Change the toggle. All right, this time we're in cover flow view, um, but the covers are kind of like diagonal. They're not straight up and down, kind of a different, a little bit different of view. If I hold down, down, and you do a hard, that's how it looks. Let's go ahead and toggle again. This is called snazzy view. Um, so something that's changed is uh, when you go, it's got a big Super Mario. You don't see the metadata, you don't see the box art. So you only see the, um, 
you see the box art here, and then when it goes away, you just see Mario and Yoshi, and some information on the bottom right. Let's go ahead and change our toggle one more time. And here we are back at the original. So those are all the different ways that you could toggle. Okay, uh, let's just load a game, make sure this works. Cool world. All right, got my controller working. This, um, I believe you can install bezel packs with this as well. All right, this is working just fine. You can start select out of there. And we should go back to HyperPy. So there it is. Um, I'm gonna go back, 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 back. And uh, some other th really cool things about this is this uh, HyperPy setup. You can get all, you know, everything you can do in Emulation Station you can do in here. Display utility, change your introduction video, set up your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, reboot, audio settings. Um, reset, update, it's all here. Um, now, I want to go show the emulation station really quick. As far as building this image, it's very, very easy to do. It's just drag and drop like you've seen in the past. All right, so here we are at emulation station. This is running the HyperPy emulation station theme. You can go over here to themes and you can see what they got, um, UI settings. It's on the HyperPy 2 with metadata, or you can have it with no metadata, or Carbon is pre-installed, or Hursty Blue. But let's keep it on HyperPy Meta. That's one of my favorites that it comes with. But you can also go down to RetroPy and install your own themes as well. Uh, what I added to this image was I added all the Atari's 2600 games, so we could show you what this looks like. This is with this stock theme on here. Um, I also want to show you in a track mode as well. And then I also threw on all of my Super Nintendo games, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. You got the box art and then it should fade into a video snap. There you go. And the only other thing I want to show you is just, you know, RetroPie. You have some scripts pre-installed for you here. Um, adding and removing the extended hard drive. You can add new themes, and then getting into a track mode is right here. Uh, you can download new themes here in ES Themes, if you'd like, if you want to do like uh, Magazine Madness, Sterling, uh, Retrorama, whatever you want. So um, there you have it, HyperPie version two. Um, looking good. How I set this image up was I, um, you know, I have ROM packs and then I used their, I downloaded not only HyperPy version 2, but I downloaded their media pack as well. And uh, so the media pack just makes sure that you have all the box art, all the all the logos and everything matches up. Do not um, overwrite the games list.xml. Um, so I got the media, I got the image, I burned the image. I did have to expand the file system, by the way, by going to RetroPie, RaspPi Config, and then go to Advanced Settings, and then um, RaspPi Config right here, Advanced Settings, and then expand your file system. So my 64 gigabyte SD card would have all the space left. And then I dragged my ROMs, and I got the HyperPi media for the systems I wanted, and I was rocking and rolling. There's no other settings you need to set up, except maybe your controller and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.